possession continues in full swing, guys. Maje, maje. Hey, what's up, kids? Man, what's up? What's up, guys? You seem to go in the battle line now. No. This is some old hat I've had for years. You know. Right. Okay. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's read another poem. There's a poem on page 29. Can we give it a go? Page number 28. We have a poem there. I think this can tick off and see for the conversation so that uh, we build on to what we are already doing. We've leveled the ground, you know what I mean? So, in terms of discussion, those who are reading the book right now really know the report. And, uh, they appreciate what's going on. Give me some music, give me some music, man. This is how we are running now. Today is the 11th of April, 2022, people. Now, I tell you, it's the conversation about the Ugandan towns. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, Kegos? No, 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 no. We are having a discussion here. So let's go on page 29. Titled Chief's New Lover. Are we talking about love here today? Don't say it, uh, now that's taking us in his territory. Ah, uh, he's always talking about love and all them stories. No, 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 no. This is something else. Amari Koma from Land of Odi, spanned by previous lovers in the chief's new lover on whom he bestows all his affections. What's going on, Victor? On whom he bestows all his affections. Chief loves Amari from the land of Odi more than anyone else and bestows upon her magnificent titles and favors chief justice speaker deputy speaker inspector general of police he calls her as his spanned ex-lovers look on with envy Everyone knows why. Chief's lustful affections are drawn to Amari from land of Odi. Amari keeps Chief in power with her powerful votes. What's going on here? What's going on here? Amari keeps chief in power because she brings him votes. The conversation continues. Is it political leverage? What's going on? 
Let's go back again to this poem. On page number 29 is the chief's new lover, spanned by previous lovers. So is the chief using this as a ploy? Is it a game of love? Is it a game of love? Tell me. What are we dealing with here? You know what I mean? Is it a bed of roses? Or a bed of thorns? <laughs> hey, hey. Victor, you got me on this one. Chief's lustful affections are drawn to Amari from the land of Odi. Amari keeps Chief in power with her powerful votes. Give me some music, people. Let's dance to it. This is gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. You know, I always keep the surprises to the last. So, Chief's new lover. When we talk of love, we're talking of feelings. We're talking of affection. We're talking of being hurt. Has the chief been hurt before? So, if we go back to the poem line after line, we discover a lot of things hidden in the poem. So when we're talking of love, like I've said, we're talking of what we see and what we don't see. If we are seeing powerful votes, who are these people who are powerful? Are they the electorate? You see, it could be political constituencies that uh, leverage your position in power. And uh, if you're playing the game of love, Do you play the game of hurting others like he says here? Yeah. As his spanned ex-lovers look on with envy. The game of chalice. Poison chalice. So, I marry from Land of Odi, spanned by previous lovers, is the chief's new lover. So Amari could be coming in this picture, having been hurt by Annex, and now embracing the chief as a new lover. Is that a contradiction? You know, it's like they say, there is no enemy in politics. Today you're my enemy, tomorrow you're my friend. Those who understand politics as a game, you know, it depends with how you see it. And uh, Amari, is she wiser? Being in love with the chief? Or is she blinded by this we call them trinkets or trimmings. Chief Justice, Speaker, Deputy Speaker, Inspector General of Police, he calls her as his spanned ex lovers look on with envy. The conversation continues. You see? And. Uh, there's a lot we are seeing here. And uh, observing. Why would the chief call Amari by all these titles? B. 
bestowed on her. She must be holding all. You know what I mean? And she's being, you know, Chief Justice, Speaker, Deputy Speaker, Inspector General of Police, he calls her as his spanned ex-lovers look on with envy. Get this poem right. The message is clear. But Amari keeps chief in power with her powerful votes. So it's probably to do with her connections and her position when she's bestowed upon all these magnificent titles and favors. The conversation continues. So, we have a tough one here. We have a tough one here. Because with love, things can go wrong. Things can go sour. I leave that for your thought. The conversation continues.